So Azure has uh, a few different kinds of load balancers and one in particular is the application gateway. And this is for application level routing and load balancing service. So application gateway operates at the OSI uh, layer seven, uh, which is also known as the application layer. And the idea here is that when you're working about applications, you're working with HTTP requests. That's what it is. Uh, and so the idea is that it can look at the contents of the HTTP request and do some interesting things. So maybe it's looking at the path and saying, okay, you're, uh, if you have a path um, and it's payments, go to the VM that has our payment system. And then if it's forward slash admin, go to the VM that does that. Uh, maybe it has to do something with cookies or um, maybe you want to apply a, a WAF a policy to it. And so it, you can look at those HTTP requests and determine if it is malicious traffic and filter it out. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's all about the application which has to do with HTTP requests. To configure this thing, you need to set up a front ends, uh, routing rules and backend pools. And there are two configurations for the front end. You can either have it with a private IP, which makes it now an internal load balancer or a public IP, which makes it either we would call a public or external load balancer. Uh, and there's a both, I've never used that option before, um, but I mean, you just need, really need to know the public and private. For the backends, you create backend pools and a backend pool is just a collection of resources to which your application gateway sends traffic. Uh, and so a backend pool can contain virtual machines, virtual machine scale sets, IP addresses, domain names, app service. Uh, and I think you can also send it to like on-prem. Uh, so let's just talk about routing rules, which connects the front end and the back end together. And so uh, here is a more complex example, it gives you a better idea of the service uh, uh, at full. Uh, and so the idea is that you have your application gateway, it's gonna send uh, traffic, or sorry, like your DNS is gonna send it to application gateway. And then you have these listeners and they, they listen for incoming traffic. Uh, and then what it will do, it will pass on that to a rule. And a rule just really says, who should we pass the data to? Uh, and then if you are defining a backend pool, then you need to have um, an HTTP setting that says, how do we handle the HTTP requests? Okay, and so now we'll just look at, e at more granular de detail about request or routing rules.